This is a Real Ghost Stories Online Extra. Hey guys, this is Jesse. I, I called a couple days ago uh, thanking you for um, playing my story about a year and a half ago in February uh, of 2016. I think the title's called Family Secret or Secret, something like that. And uh, you were just playing my story about the, the dreams I had about my, my dad, my mom's dream. So I called and thank you. And I, I was pretty discouraged that day. And I'm going to be honest with everybody right now. I kind of had some stuff going on that's interesting. I think it is. And I got a question, too. But uh, I've been having some serious, you know, oh, what's the best way to put this? Thoughts that are going to be very self, self-harmful, self you know, and uh, – and it's like overwhelmingly bad. And finally, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm studied before I'm a Christian and I had this epiphany. I just had this overwhelming feeling in my soul about just taking it all away, just end it all, you're not worth it. And finally, this voice in my head said, you know, you're really close to God's uh, plan for your life and you're just going to throw it all away. And I got super angry and like, those little bastards demonic bastards are trying to get me to end it right before things get good. And I don't know if they are soon. I mean, it's all God's timing, but at the same time, it's like, I, this is their plan to try to take me down. So I just got furious and started using the name of Jesus. And I got a name. I'm not going to say it, but I said the name in the name of, you know, it's in the name of Jesus Christ, this blank will be banished from me and not, no longer torment me and, you know, go away. And I said the more ferocity than I am now. And I finally felt, for like a week, I felt been feeling these feelings. I just felt this pure joy and contentness and happiness come over my heart. And all the burdens I'm facing with right now, this were like, God's got under control. And uh, that was really good for me. I didn't see this thing. I just felt it around me. I'm not sure if you ever felt demonic presence before. I felt quite a few of them before in my life. And, you know, when you're around one, it, it, you just feel dread around you all the time. And when they're, when you're being oppressed by one, you just feel like this black hole in your heart and just sucking, absorbing all the good positive energy out of your life and any willingness to be you. Um, you know, I, the philosophy or theology in Christianity is, once you accept Christ, he's in your soul, and a demonic presence cannot enter that soul. But if uh, oppression, which is demonic entity, you know, messing with you on the outside, they can do that, and they definitely try to do that with me. But anyway, you know, I, I did some serious brain here for, you know, people you know, I love, people in my life, people I even have a hard time accepting their existence. <laughs> brain for those folks, too. And uh, a couple other demonic names came into my, my head, and... Uh, for a couple individuals that are struggling with some stuff and again, just banish those names. But here's the thing, like I get the names and they're scrambled for a little bit and finally kind of come up. I research the names and they don't pop up. And I, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure how true, like some of the demonic names in demonology are. I don't know how accurate that is. I don't know where those sources even come from. I mean, I, the history is kind of weird of where the information comes from. And I don't know if you guys have any ideas on the, I don't want to go too in depth of studying uh, demons. I mean, I don't want to. Oh, what the heck! I'm I'm kind of a I'm kind of a demonic supernatural magnet. I just pull stuff to my life anyway, so it doesn't matter what I do. They show up anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. But still, you know, I guess I want to find validity. I mean, the, the first one I felt a lot better, and I don't think it's a subconscious thing. I mean, you literally felt like this negative shroud surrounding my body just go away you know, myself again. So I don't think it's a subconscious thing. I don't think it's uh, some of my mind's making up to make you feel better. I think it was a real entity, but I just, I can't find the name. And uh, I don't know if you guys want me to email you the names I got. None of them really match up, but you know, Bible says the devil took out um, or took with him third, of the third of the angels of heaven with him. So I doubt just a few hundred angels, <laughs> probably a few million. Who knows? So anyway, um, yeah, I guess just want your guys' thoughts. I mean, just because I can't find the name, I guess doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So, or listed, I guess. So, anyway, I just thought I'd share that. If anyone's coming through this crap right now, um, you know, if you're a Christian, Jesus got to control. If you're not, well, I mean, whatever works for you, I guess. You know, I mean, I'm not sure what other faiths do to 
get rid of demonic entities, but don't, don't give up. There's always there's always a solution to it, you know. So anyway, thanks guys, thanks for the show. I'm really enjoying it. I love every episode. I think they're fantastic. And uh, yeah, keep up the great work, guys. Appreciate it. If you want access to more Real Ghost Stories, become a premium subscriber to Real Ghost Stories online. Sign up now through Apple Podcasts and try it for three days free. Not on Apple? Go to patreon.com slash realghoststories or ghostpodcast.com.